Here are some mistakes you might be making in your Scratch games. The first mistake is having no or bad instructions. Especially in games that are in genres that not everybody plays, or have special keys or mechanics. It is super important to think from the perspective of a new player, so that you can make your game playable. You can just write the instructions in the instructions box, or you can even have an in-game instruction box so they can play in full screen. The second mistake is boring levels. For example, some platformers may have a level full of spikes on the ground, just for the sake of making it difficult. These levels are not very fun to play through, so I would recommend making levels more exciting, like a tricky wall jump section, or maybe even a moving platform. You could even add a double jump feature to have even more possibilities for level design. The next mistake is bad controls. This doesn't just apply to platformers, but to all games with movement. A player's movement can maybe feel too stiff, a jump may be too floaty, controls unresponsive, or maybe it feels like the player's on ice physics. Getting great controls can be difficult, so I totally recommend you watch GMTK's video on this topic. Another mistake is bad graphics. Good graphics won't fix a bad game, but it certainly improves the game experience. And I'm not just talking about game art. You can add particles, or you have special effects to make your game look and feel amazing to play. You don't even have to be good at drawing to make amazing art. Jonas Tyriller does a great job explaining it in his video. Quality over quantity is super important, especially when it comes to games. A game you spend a month on is going to be so much better than 30 games that are made in a single day. Now you can make lots of games to experiment with and test new stuff, but I would highly recommend only making a few games a month if you want them to do well. And since you watched to this point, here's a bonus tip. Always have a thumbnail. It's the first thing someone will see before even playing your game. They're also super easy to make. You see, our product's thumbnail is just the last place it was saved. So I like to use this script for my thumbnails. You just start the project, stop it quickly, and then save. And since you watch all the way to the end, you might like this video. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time.